Is that a trick question? This man was a bona fide scrub. Bona fide scrub. This dude, I believe he's a bona fide superstar right now. Right. Oh, well, of course, it's all about winning, baby. Yeah. For my star, that's the Chicago Bulls. Now, there's a lot of hesitation and different discussion around what their offseason would produce. And, I mean, everything preseason, we're probably overreacting to it because it's a sample size of two or three preseason games. But at the end of the day, we've got to talk on what we've seen, and that's all we can go off so far. And the Chicago Bulls have been absolutely outstanding. They've had multiple blowout victories. The combo of Lonzo and Zach and Vucevic and DeRose and that quartet, I think, have been absolutely fantastic together. They've actually, now again, it's preseason games. We'll wait and see what happens in the regular season. I think they've held up pretty well defensively so far throughout the preseason. I think they look absolutely fantastic. They haven't played any good teams at all, but I just think the chemistry looks great. They're not that bad on defense. Offensively, we know what they can do. And Lonzo Ball is probably the one who I just look at and... He's finally, I was thinking about it last night, he's finally got himself to a team where he wants to be at, around a group of players that he wants to be around. Because his whole career, I mean, he's had a tough, I mean, you don't want to say tough start to his career when the bloke's making, you know, a few million dollars kind of thing. He's an NBA player. But as far as NBA players go, yes, we know he's a high draft pick. That's great and whatnot. But he came into the Lakers. He was anointed by Magic Johnson as the next big thing, saying... His jersey's going to hang in the rafters at Staples Centre one day. It's just all the pressure on the kid. We know about LeVar Ball, and the presence of LeVar Ball basically meant that from day one in the league, he was targeted, whether it, by, whether it be by offensive players who wanted to drop 30 on his head every night or whether it be defensive players like Patrick Beverley. We know there's a, a pretty highlighted clip there <laughs> where yeah. Patrick Beverley's going at him and wanting to basically sit him on his ass. From day one, he was targeted by opposition players, and... Then he gets traded to the Pelicans. LeBron obviously comes in. The Lakers switch their attention to wanting to win right away for LeBron. And when Lonzo's not up to that, and of course he's not up to that, he's a second-year point guard. Like, what do you expect? And when he's not up to it, he's traded for Anthony Davis to the Pelicans. He's shipped off to the Pelicans. I thought he was okay in a couple of seasons at the Pelicans. But they basically turned him into, from a you know explosive point guard with great playmaking skills to like a 3 and D guy. And I just think there's been so much on social media the last you know, couple of weeks about his improvement in that three-point shot. And I just think, I look at him and I think this is an extremely hard worker. By all reports, he's a great guy. And finally, in France, I don't know why the Pelicans let him leave given he was a restricted free agent, but he's finally got to pick a destination that he wanted to go to around a bunch of players that he wanted to be around. And from what I see so far, he just fits perfectly. Lonzo Ball, to me is the kind of guy that every fan would love to have on their team. Because he just does a little bit of everything. He'll play defense for you. He can play, make, and rack up assists. He can shoot the three ball. Seems like a great team teammate. Like, he just, he seems like the kind of guy that would fit kind of on every team kind of thing. Because he can just, he's not a star. And at the end of the day, he was taken number two overall. Will he ever reach the expectations of a number two overall pick? Maybe not. But that doesn't, to stop the fact that this guy is a really good NBA player, will make millions of dollars, hundreds of million dollars throughout his career, and will probably be in the league for 15 plus years. And I just think his perception around the league has changed dramatically, and I couldn't be more happier for him. The fact that he's finally got to a position here where he's happy, he looks like he's playing good basketball, and his team might be good, and he might make the playoffs for what the first time in his career. Well, I th- I've, I think what you just said then, I'm so happy for him because you've seen the talent and the circumstances have always been uh, just, I guess, not in his mm-hmm. favour. But I think why I'm most impressed is his, his willingness to just keep trying. How often do we talk about mental toughness? But look how he's rebuilt his body, his play style, his jump shot. He's kept trying either way. And I think the fruits of his labour are actually going to pay yeah. off. And I know, I know the Bulls, it's and they're versus other Cavs and stuff, so I'm not going to put too much stock into their wins. But uh, I think... You yeah, you're going to see him playing a free style of basketball. They look fun. Um, obviously, his camp. They look. They'll be watching exciting, every single yeah. one of their highlights, and both Ball brothers as well. I think he'll be on most uh, on most highlight reels. So, uh, but I think Caruso is the most famous guard in. He's Chicago been really Disney good as well, world. though. To be honest, he's been really good. He's a very, and I'll talk about the Lakers in a second, value. but they're maybe missing him at the moment. They could do with Lonzo and Caruso. Right. I'll tell you that. 
Anyway. Just go, just go on Twitter after one game he plays and see, see the meltdown there. Um, I just want to do...